Hey folks, a viewer had asked how to do uh, Q-Links to have them control MIDI CC. This isn't going to be exactly the same for every single setup, but I figured I'll use the iPad here running the Arturia iMIDI, or iMini, and I'm just gonna set up an empty project. I am using the hyperdrive so I can get the USB to MIDI adapter that I've got here, the Roland USB MIDI interface on one. And I've got the audio output from here going into the MPC. Right now you can see I turned it on, I can't hear anything. So as usual, just set up the monitoring so I can hear it. It's a little loud, so I'll turn that down. Anyway, um, one nice thing that the iMini has is the ability to do um, some CC learning over MIDI. And basically all I need to do is just set up my interface to use the MIDI port. I'm using the MPC A out to get to the um, Roland into the iPad. So with that set, there's going to be, some of the parameters will work. So to get into your Q-Link menu, you just hold down Q-Link and I just would switch it over to program. I'm gonna hit the Q-Link edit just so I can get the menu here. It might be, uh, I know the angle is a little hard to see. I'll try and take some pictures and put them up on the blog. But what I wanted to show, show you here is A, I can send notes over from the MPC to the iPad and play it now um, based on like previous videos, how I got that set up. And you'll see that there's a few of the things already works. Like the mod wheel is already programmed for Q-Link row one, which is what I have on right now. If I turn Q-Link one, you can see the mod wheel. Hopefully you can see it is turning here. Now, if that, so, so some of these uh, settings are already pre-mapped. I'm just gonna take the bottom right for Q-Link uh, row four in the, the fourth Q-Link. Right now it's set to soft pedal on and off. I don't really need that. So what, I'm, what I can do here is open up the connect menu, touch MIDI, and then this, this app has what's the MIDI learn, so I can tap it. And you can see here, there's all kinds of things that are already mapped. I just wanna change the oscillator pitch, I guess, for this. So I'm gonna do that and I rotate the knob and it might be a little hard to see here, but I'm now using MIDI CC67, which was the soft pedal on and off to be able to control that parameter. So and you can change in the menu, your parameter menu to any MIDI CC. So I mean, I can change this up to MIDI CC104, for example, is what I just selected. And I still have this set. So if I turn the knob, it will again just start turning it. Now, if I go done, Hopefully you can see here, but this knob is turning as part of the patch. So you can come in, you've got your 16 Q links and you can map them to whatever you'd like for adjusting parameters on your iPad applications as long as it supports it. Have fun, bye.